Have you ever seen a photo and fallen in love with its color grading? Well, what if you could take that color grading and paste it onto another photo? Today, I have a trick for you that will let you do just that. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along using the images that I'll be using, I've included a download link to them in the video description. We're going to be using this photo today, and we're going to take the color grading from the other photo and paste it onto this image. To get started doing that, we first need to sample colors from our other image. To do this, I'll come over to our swatches panel, and then I'll press on the swatches menu, and then press Create Palette from Image. Now we can go up and select our image, and then press Open. We now have our image and five colors sampled from it. For this technique, we only need three colors, so I'm just going to change our number of colors to three. And then you can press Preview to see what those colors will be. These colors look perfect for putting on this image. I'll press Create. And now we have a palette created with those colors that we can use for this image. One thing that I don't really like is how small these colors appear, so I'm going to press on our swatches menu again, then go down to Appearance, and then press Large. This will make it a little easier for us a little bit later. I'll return to our Layers panel, and to apply these colors to this image, we need to apply a very specific adjustment. I'll come to our Adjustments, and then apply a Gradient Map Adjustment. The Gradient Map Adjustment can be a little tricky to understand at first, so if you'd like, we have a wonderful video taught by Ezra explaining all about how to use Gradient Maps, and I'll leave it linked in the video description. To get started with this image, we're going to use our swatches, so I'll return to the Swatches panel, and we're going to use these colors and apply them in our gradient map adjustment. Because the reds represent shadows, I'll press on the red, then press on color, and now I'll sample the darkest color, and then press on that, and now the darkest color has been applied to our shadows. I'll do this again by selecting the midtones, then color, then I'll sample the middle color and apply it. And now I'll do the same for the highlights. And now we have these colors applied to our image. I'll close out of this dialog box and return to our layers panel. With these colors applied to our image, we can now change the blend mode to make it blend perfectly with our image. I'll come to our blend modes, and we can apply a few different blend modes that could look really good for this image. I found for this image, soft light or overlay look really good. I'll go ahead and apply overlay. Look at our image. We now have the color grading pasted onto it. There's a few more things we can do though to make this image look even better. The first thing I'm going to do is lower the opacity of this gradient map adjustment layer. This will make it look a little less intense. Another thing that I've noticed about this image is that her face looks a little bit orange and bright, and I want to bring back some of her natural face coloring to the image. To do this, I'm going to paint some of the adjustment off of her face. So I'll press B for my brush tool, then I'll go to my colors and make sure that I'm painting in black. Then, up in the context toolbar, I'll make sure that I'm painting with a low flow and 0% hardness. Now, I can begin painting. The last thing that we can do to make this look even better is make the shadows and highlights a little bit less intense. You can see some of these shadows and highlights are looking quite bright slash dark. <laughs> so to fix this, I'm going to apply a curves adjustment. With the curves adjustment, as I bring this handle up, 
you can see that our shadows become brighter. I don't want them to become too bright, so I'll just bring this up a little bit. And then with our highlights, I can bring this down to make the highlights darker. Again, I don't want it too intense, so I'll just bring it down a little bit, and then close out of this dialog box. Now, I'm going to hold down Shift to select both of these layers. You can see our before, and here's our after with our beautiful color grading applied. In addition to adding artistic coloring, you can use Affinity Photo to correct the colors in your images. You can check out this video over here where we teach you how to correct colors in any image by using a curves adjustment. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.